Timu, Timu, Timu. I must be getting old, man, because until recently, I didn't know what the heck this was. I think it's like the new age wish.com. I believe it's just cheap stuff that comes straight from like a Chinese warehouse. But I guess it's like super popular website. And they have some fishing stuff. Today, we are going to be uncovering some truths. Is Timu like not a scam? Not gonna lie, it seems like a little scammy. Am I going to get hacked using this website? Am I turning into a boomer? Can I spend $50 or under and get a rod, reel, line, floors, everything we need to get out there and go fishing? Will I I actually get everything in order and will it actually be like usable stuff let's uncover some truths this is the $50 Timu fishing challenge all right Timu.com already there's some lightning deals it seems how you say scammy on the front page next to a sweater and a baking thing what what is that what kind of website is this all right let me refresh the page oh we won the jackpot it is my lucky day okay let's go up here and type in fishing we got some various fishing things all right here we go type in fishing rods look at that We've got a Halloween deal. I am so lucky. Found this rod. It says fresh and salt water. Let's get this. I don't know what size. Okay, reels. Oh, look at that. That looks shiny. Only $13. Add that to the cart. Here's some crazy braided fishing line. Let's get that. Sure. Look at this headlamp. Who the heck would get that? Added to cart. 500 piece hooks. Add that to the cart. Look at this marketing. Warming socks, but there are literal flames under the feet. Look at this one. Look at this fish trap. They're literally showing a snake head going into the trap. Okay, for under $3, you can get a fishing shiesty. Why am I tempted? Oh my, how could I not? This is, that's just, that is so obnoxious. I cannot pass that up. Okay, we're gonna be fully T-mood out. Of course, we need some anti-skid fishing gloves. All right, here's the total. We've got a lot of stuff, but this is right around our budget, kinda. And it says there's a lot of security stuff. Hopefully, we don't get hacked. All right, order is ordered. I guess we'll find out whenever this delivers off, we get everything, and if we can actually catch some fish on it. I'll tell you what, man, I'm gonna be the most stylish guy in town. Is this all the stuff we ordered? Kind of feels like Christmas. Let's just snip the tip. Open that at least we got the rod and stuff so we can actually go fishing. Here you go. We're gonna pull one thing out at a time. Woo! Okay. Anti-skid gloves. Oh baby. I feel like I have powers. These could actually be pretty useful. Like it's kind of goofy a little bit, but especially when you're down here in Florida, if you're in like the hot, hot sun all day, like just getting your skin out of, you know what I'm saying, out of the sun. And you still got these fingers. Okay, okay, this is what I was concerned about. I think that that is the rod, I mean, there's my arm. That is a tiny, I'm guessing it's multiple pieces. Can you see all those right there? That is the 500 piece. Holy crap, dude, some of those are tiny. Not gonna lie, there is like kind of like a weird smell coming off of this stuff too. Look at all those. We'll see if those are sharp and usable or if they just like break. All right, here we go. Box is a little crinkled. This is the fishing reel, professional. <laughs> hey, the name says it all. Is it as shiny as it was in the pictures? All right, what do y'all think? I got a 4,000 size. Um, feels all right. It looks pretty usable. Can't judge a reel out the box. What else we got down here? What is this? Oh my, what the? Have you ever seen fishing line come like this? Soggy brand? I've had um, some stuff from wish.com that was this brand. It's kind of like holographic. It's pretty cool packaging. Okay, and it comes like this. Just like a nice spool. So we've got like a rainbow. Hello? Nice little spool. Very nice. Looks like we might have everything in here. I was kind of concerned that we have missing some stuff. What is in this package? I told y'all, man, we are going to be T-mood out, baby. I think these were like three bucks. We got some sweet shades. <laughs> Not bad, man. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. It says Shimano. I don't know if it actually is. These fish are gonna be frightened by my Shimano shades. Okay, this is the, oh, geez. All right, here's the headlamp. I don't know why I bought this. It just spoke to me. We're not gonna be fishing at night, but. Last but not least, the most important thing in our Timu bag. She's officially flattened. We got the hat. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't think I set this up correctly. Imagine being a fish and then you look at who caught you and it's this guy. <laughs> I think I got it. How do I look? Wait, don't answer that. All right, we made it out here to the fishing spot for the day. We still have absolutely no clue what the fishing rod looks like. And I just want to say, man, I've done a lot of budget fishing challenges on the channel. You guys know, man, we've done a bunch of different budgets, a bunch of different stores. $50, usually that would get us like a combo, maybe. To get like all this stuff for 50 bucks, I mean, 
That's not bad, dude. Is it ethically sourced? I am not sure. Is it actually usable? We're about to find out. Holy crap. All right, we picked like one of the windiest freaking days to be out on the beach. We're just gonna have to roll with it here. Let's open this up though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, how do we open this thing? If the wind is just too loud, blame mother nature. She comes in a bag. Oh yeah, shiny. Let's take off the little cap thing. And boom. Hooyah! This is kind of what we got going on here. So we have a two ounce sinker. I don't know if that's gonna hold or not. Goes down to a swivel, goes down to a leader. I should probably shorten this leader actually real quick. And then this is one of the hooks that came in our package. Holy crap, it is windy. There's a fish. What is that? Come here. What is that on our new setup? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try to move out of the wind. There you go. We had first fish of the day. Little pinfish. All right. Please don't spike me. Boom. Pretty dude. So this is the 4,000, um, what, what was it called? Pro Fisherman Reel. This is our shiny rod. Ooh, all right, there we go. I think we're getting out of the wind a little bit here. For fishing purposes, I mean, the wind isn't completely terrible. Like, I mean, we caught a fish in it and it wasn't really moving around our sinker. But uh, I just, yeah, for audio. And just like video purposes, I'm sure you guys' ears might've been bleeding. It's crazy when that wind stops blowing. It gets a little toasty out here. All right, I'm just gonna pick this spot randomly. Basically, what we did back there, we threw out a whole shrimp for a little bit and we did not get bit, so I was like, I, don't, I wonder if there's any smaller stuff around. So I chunked up a shrimp and that is when we got the bite. So I think, just to see if anything's around, we're gonna do that, chunk up a shrimp on the little hook just like that. I'm just gonna send it out right here. It's just a random spot. I don't know if there would be fish here, but we're just going to be bopping around. I did get bit off. All right, there might be something here. So the thing about fishing, right? Honestly, I mean, you can just go to any body of water, throw in any spot. And I mean, it's better to throw than not to throw, right? It's better to try than to not try. But you kind of want to find reasons for fish to be there, if you know what I'm saying. So there's a, uh, looks like a little jetty. Oh, dude, we just got bit off again. Off part two. So the first place we casted, whoa. What's up, pelicans? Yeah, it got us. First place we casted, it was next to a jetty in the water. It's like a hidden jetty. Looks like we got another one right here, and it looks like there are something here. Keep snatching me off. Oh my. Try to catch something nice on the freaking, I almost called it Wish, on the Timu. Let me know in the comments, have you guys ever ordered anything from Timu? Any fishing stuff? Or just anything in general? Or you know anybody who has? 
and you all got scammed. To be honest, so far, I mean, especially product-wise, it seems just, you know, it seems like Wish.com, to be honest. Which isn't a bad thing. They have stuff that works. It just is the question of how long does it work for? Especially when you're doing saltwater fishing. I mean, this reel, they advertise it as fresh and salt. And I think this rod, too. But saltwater fishing, it, it puts a beat down on gear. Corrodes it. Messes with the bearings. Just, you know, salt and... Stuff like this do not mix well. So we'll see if this holds up, if we hook anything big. But also, it'll be interesting to see, like, you know, how it, over time, it would compare to something that's more expensive. I mean, you could probably guess yourself how it, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe this stuff is really goaded. Dude, there's so many pelicans out there. That's so cool. It gives me faith that we did get a bite. It's just, on days like this, where it's just, you know, not great fishing days, anything that bites, I will take. Let's try to get that out a little bit further. A fish is a fish, especially on rough weather days. I mean, it, the, the actual ocean is completely unfishable today. These winds got the swells like freaking crazy. You know what, I will say that I do appreciate having this braided line, especially on a windy day like this. You can keep a little bit more attention and just have a little bit more uh, feel for what's going on. Oh, we're cleaned off. What the, what is eating this? Dude, that's cool. It's just laying on the ground. That's a big stone crab claw. I don't think I've ever eaten a stone crab. I've never caught one before. I know that's a pretty cool thing to do in Florida. I don't know when the season opens back up for those. I would actually really, really like to try to catch them in those dudes. They're supposed to be tasty and those are really expensive. Like you go to the store and you try to buy some stone crab claws, whew, rip wallet. That whole like way of harvesting them is pretty cool too because it's like self-sustaining. You just take one of their claws and then grow it back. Super cool. I want to do that. Do I fish on or did it just bite me again? Are you? kidding me I'm getting trolled so hard there we go there we go baby there we go oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah what is that <laughs> second fish of the day what has been stealing my bait over here now is it the no way, it's the same. Okay, no. That's actually a different species. Whew. That's at least good to see, man. I am so bad at identifying these. If any of you guys can help me down in the comment section below, I believe that's a pigfish. Kind of looks like a pinfish. Or maybe it is a pinfish. Can you put your... Is that a pinfish? He's grunting. Um, I don't know. Let's let that guy go. Now this would be great bait. If I caught that down now like in South Florida, dude, that's freaking snook candy. Hey, I'll take that. I just want something to come up and nail this thing. We, we're gonna start throwing, um like whole live shrimp out there. And that's when I think things could get a little interesting. Never know what to bite one of those dudes. Let's see if anybody else wants a little piece of this little piece first. Oh my God, you know what? What am I doing? Bro, I don't got my gear on. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. It's got me. It's got me, even just the thought of the gear. Dude, good thing I freaking loosened that drag. Okay, what is this now? Wait, what the heck? Are you kidding me? All right, let's get serious now. Oh, wow, yeah. This is something. It's nice that the hat locks down so it's not gonna blow away. It does feel kind of a little bit 
like it wants to blow. These are pretty slick. Remind me of something I got a rocket power. Whoa. Dude, we got bit right away, right when I threw that in. Hold on now, now we're on X Games mode. All right. Come on, fish. Oh, dude, this hat's literally gonna blow off my freaking dome. That's the one thing, if you're using bait, your gloves are gonna get a little wet. All right, team mood out, baby. Come on, fish. There's a jetty like right over there, so I'm trying not to throw it in the jetty. That would be really sad. That guy's got like a similar rig right there. That's so funny. He's got a similar hat too, but it's like an actual hat. It's like tan. I don't know if he got a deal on his. I'm getting bit. There we go. There we go, baby. Oh, that's, hold on, that's fighting a little decent. Oh yeah. On the soggy lang, no, did we just lose it? Oh no. That's the issue with this little hook. That's the second one we lost. Not me, it's the hook, I swear. This isn't even our final Timu form. This is gonna be the cast right here. It's like I'm getting bit almost like right when I hits the water. They're just freaking swiping it. All right, ready? We oh, gotta be quick with it. Oh, right there. I think I got him. Come here, boy. Swiper, no swiping. That's a fish on there for sure. Told y'all we gotta be quick with it. Whoa, what is that? Are you for real? This is one positive thing about the gloves as well, is hopefully we won't get poked as much. All right, there we go. Whew, see, that is a pinfish. That looks more like the first one we caught today. See how that's just like, I don't know, it's different. Whoa, how long has that been there? Hello. Boom. Pinfish, get out of here. All right, now we got some soggy gloves. I just had to switch out the GoPro battery. All right, fishing DSS. What is even that? It's a semicolon, but there's two. Can you see that? All right, now is the time. Let's get this over here. We are going to put a nice juicy Oh my gosh, that is a big one Holy crap, that is a big one Big old fresh shrimp I'm gonna put that dude on and we are just gonna launch it Yo, Try to get it a little bit further out there than where we were catching all those smaller stuff. I just don't want to, oh, we had a shrimp escape. Get back in there. Don't want to get nipped off by something small, you know? All right. Let's see, man, this is the time where you really don't know. We're fishing in a spot right now where realistically, like everything saltwater wise is on the table. I just don't know because of the conditions if they're going to be around or maybe it makes it better. We will see if anything bites this up. Right, well, on a day like this where the weather is just not really optimal for fishing to be able to catch any fish, that's always a plus. Just being out there, even if it's windy at the beach, it's just like a good feeling, you know? In this video, we were also the king of the water dot droplet on the lens. I was like the special guest of the video. Sorry about that. Just a really professional fisher YouTuber person. What's up, dude? What's up, dude?
How are you doing? I want to say this real quick too. I've got a lot of emails. I don't know if it's a scam or not, but I've been getting emails on emails about like, sponsor Timu, do this for your video. This was not sponsored. We did get a cool hat though, and look at this. Ready for this? Uh, don't worry, man. When the weather gets better, we are going to catch some better fish. Finally, can cross this off my list. I've always wanted to test this site. Again, let me know if y'all have ordered anything from here. And um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. All right, say, man, let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. Boop. You wanna know just where?